Hello, and welcome to another episode of Up The Beers. Today, we'll be reviewing something that I've been saving in my fridge for a while. I've been letting it uh, brew and ferment for some time. I've been letting it age and really cure like a fine wine. We have the Cooper's Brewery Australian IPA. So that's what we're going to be drinking today. Um, again, it's been in my fridge for maybe a year and a half. I've been planning on reviewing it for a while, but I kept putting it off. Um, and of course, what better to be drinking it out of than the classic Cooper's glass. So, first thing we'll quickly discuss the can design. You know, it's a bit mixed up for Cooper's. They normally go for the single color design and they've kind of mixed it up a little bit for the IPA. You know, it's interesting, I like it. It's six and a half percent, you know, not too bad for an old Cooper's. And, um, you know, it's, it's 40 IBUs. It uses Eclipse and Vic Secret as the hops, which is different. Cooper's generally six to their Pride of Ringwood hops. So, you know, it's a little bit different. So, let's give it a pour and uh, see how it tastes. So, very pale, as you know, obviously you'd expect from a pale ale. So, not too shabby. Nice head, not too fucked. Perfect pour, nice. So, yeah, I can already smell it. It's quite fruity. A little bit dank, as you expect from an IPA. You know, nothing like over the top. Coopers, obviously, they're not looking to, you know, shake up the boat or anything. They're, they're pretty basic. They're not going to do anything out of this world. So let's give it a sip. Fruity, malty. Bitter. Tasty. Got to make sure you get it all over, all 10,000 taste buds. It's quite good. I, I, I quite like it. It's, again, nothing spectacular. Like, it's not my favorite IPA um, that I've ever had. Uh, as, a, as a certified soy boy, of course, IPA is my favorite style of beer. Um, and, you know, I, I really, every time I see a new IPA, so, um, you know, this is a, oh, got, got some hot floaties, uh, some, Yeast floaties in there, that's uh, always a bit of fun, so. But yeah, while I do pog over every IPA, this is definitely not the best IPA. It's pretty stock standard. Coopers have done a decent job, but they really haven't, like, knocked this one out of the park. Honestly, <clears throat> I don't mind it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it again. And in fact, I don't even know if you can get it anymore. They may have discontinued it since this uh, was released. I saved this can in the case that it, because it did say it was limited edition. It says on the can right here, limited edition. But I don't know if they've actually stopped selling it yet. If they have, then I might have the last one in the world, in which case I'm fucked for opening it. For opening it. Anyway, probably gonna give it like one thumb, you know, a middle of the range score. And then uh, probably 193.64 genes uh, on the gene scale. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna rate it. Um, overall, yeah, not bad. So, Coopers, keep it up. You know, I like your pale ale, I like your stout. Um, but maybe just keep it basic, you know, maybe stay out of the IPA game. You haven't got it, you haven't got the, uh, the guts to compete with the real Pogmeisters out there. Um, anyway, it's been Ben, and, uh, as always, don't forget to go fuck yourself. <laughs>